Pickleball, which is a perfect mix of tennis and ping pong, played on a court the size of badminton, is in a bit of a pickle. The sport has been around since the 1960s, but in recent years, especially during the pandemic, it's become very popular. It's the fastest growing sport in America, and people over 55 love it because they don't have to run around like Rafael Nadal. But there is a problem that is driving some communities crazy. When the game's solid rectangular paddles hit perforated plastic pickleballs, they make a sound that is unlike any other. Think of clucking one's tongue, but through a bullhorn. And that has led to some pretty crazy lawsuits in 2022. Hello and welcome to Pro Pickleball Media. In today's video, we'll take a look at some of the most insane pickleball lawsuits of 2022. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. Let's dive right into the video. To cover pickleball news these days, it helps to pay attention to what's going on in local government chambers, community meeting rooms in court, and not the pickleball court. The growing popularity of pickleball is creating new opportunities for lawyers, community activists, and other merchants of strife. Let's take a look at some ongoing actions. The mental false alarms of pickleball. The Franklin's lawsuit contend the noise from the pickleball courts at the country club is too noisy. The mayor of the town of Mission Woods, a suburb of Kansas City, Kansas, owns a house that backs up to the Mission Hills Country Club. Daryl and Laurie Franklin have just filed a lawsuit because the country club next to his house turned four outdoor tennis courts into four pickleball courts. The courts, which are less than 200 feet from the mayor's house, were turned into pickleball courts in 2017. An acoustic barrier fence was put up around the courts to cut down on the noise from the games. In the lawsuit, the mayor says that the soundproofing isn't enough, and the courts, which are open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m., make it impossible for him to enjoy his home. A local TV news station reported that the lawsuit says, when the paddle hits the ball, it makes a popping sound that gives the mind false alarms and makes it hard to relax, focus, or sleep soundly. The constant noise can make people feel stressed, tired, and worried. The club recently gave in and said that pickleball can only be played from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. But the lawsuit says that more needs to be done. It says that the club should move the pickleball courts so that they are at least 600 feet away from where the mayor lives. Windows down in Philadelphia. Some here in Chestnut Hill say pickleball has become a neighborhood nuisance. The six outdoor pickleball courts at the city-run Water Tower Recreation Center in Philadelphia's Chestnut Hill neighborhood has become so popular that some neighbors have complained and even threatened to sue for breaking the city's noise ordinance. You can't open your windows for eight or nine months a year, Joe O'Donnell, a nearby resident, told the local Fox 29 News. Have you ever tried to live somewhere so noisy that you can't open your windows? That's how loud it is. At a community meeting, people in the area came up with a wide range of ideas for how to fix the problem. From making the balls softer to shortening the hours to shutting it down completely. People in the area have been getting an email. It's from an account called Stop Pickleball. One of the people who played pickleball at the Water Tower Recreation Center wanted to find a way for the players and the neighbors to get along. Jude Brandt said, I think there's something to it. I mean, it's noisier than tennis, and I think it's important for the players and the people who live there to talk to each other. In response to the complaints, the city has stopped letting people play pickleball on Sundays and after 5 p.m. on Saturdays. It has also cut the hours during the week by ending play at 8 p.m. instead of 9 p.m. and starting an hour later in the morning. The Great Tennis vs. Pickleball War of 2022 Pickleball players in Exeter, New Hampshire have asked for more courts from the town. They want three of the eight tennis courts at the town's recreation park to be turned into pickleball courts, and they've raised the money to do the conversion on their own. Local tennis players don't like this plan because they don't want to give up any of their courts to the newcomers who play pickleball. They also think that the three courts that will be changed are the best in town. E. Carrington Heath, a congressional pastor, is writing about this local fight on Twitter. He seems to enjoy the fact that this issue has brought people to town meetings in full force. During a meeting in early May, he said, People are out in the hall because they can't fit in. Friend against friend. There will be fewer friends. He says that he doesn't know anything about pickleball and is only doing it for the drama. He has called it the Great Tennis vs. Pickleball War of 2022. Recently, a pickleball player is said to have told a tennis player, One day, these will all be pickleball courts, the article says. Shots fired, Heath wrote on Twitter. To be clear, Heath wrote, I plan to be a total agent of chaos, and I want badminton to get the same amount of attention as the other sports. 
Martina Naratilova, a tennis star who has won 18 Grand Slam single titles, has heard about the argument. She wrote on Twitter, If pickleball is so popular, people should just build their own courts. Pickleball is a sport that makes it easy for anyone to play. You don't have to spend a lot of money or take years of lessons to get good at it. The rules aren't too hard to learn, and the basic strokes are easy enough to get the hang of in just a few games with friends. Because the playing area is about one-fourth the size of a tennis court, there isn't as much ground to cover, especially in doubles. The sport is so easy on the body that it's not unusual to see a pair of old people beat up their teenage grandchildren. But the game's rapid rise in the noise, crowds, and loud support it generates has led to strong backlash in communities all over this country. Newport Beach Lawsuit a woman from Corona del Mar sued Newport Beach because the sounds of people playing pickleball 100 yards from her house gave her severe mental suffering, frustration, and anxiety. A couple from South Carolina followed the lawsuit against a country club near their home, saying that late-night pickleball games made it hard for them to enjoy their property. People have successfully argued in dozens of court cases that letting people play pickleball goes against local laws or the rules of homeowners or condo associations. New Jersey Lawsuit Last year, a blogger in New Jersey wrote that a village of about 25,000 people had declared war on pickleball. In an article called The Pickleball Coup, which came out earlier this month, a local news source wrote that a months-long fight over the sport on a small island in British Columbia. Some of the language used to talk about the pickleball fights between neighbors is harsh, but it fits the tone of the fights, which often pit neighbors against each other. Conclusion There's no disputing the fact that pickleball is a loud sport. Researchers have demonstrated that the sound made by a solid pickleball paddle striking one of the sport's hard plastic wiffle ball-like balls can be more than 25 decibels louder than the sound made by even the hardest swung Wilson hitting a felt-covered tennis ball. This is the case even when comparing the two sports' most popular paddles. Pickleball is seeing a big spike in popularity. An estimated 4.8 million people in the United States played pickleball at least once in 2020 which is a growth of nearly 40% in only the past two years, as reported by USA Pickleball. According to a study conducted in 2021 by the Physical Activity Council, tennis is expected to continue to be played by more than 21 million people in the U.S. in the year 2020. Tennis tournaments are held all over the world, and it's one of the four global sporting events that attracts the most viewers. This is a 22% growth in the overall number of players in the year 2020, of which nearly 3 million people tried tennis for the very first time in that same year. Pickleball is frequently referred to by its followers as America's fastest growing sport. But even though the figures suggest that the pandemic has driven a big number of individuals to the courts, they don't specify whether these people are swinging tennis rackets or pickleball paddles. In addition, there are many who assert that pickleball will eventually replace tennis as the most popular sport. At the meeting at the Goleta City Council that took place in January, Mayor Pro Tem Stewart Kasten refuted a claim made by local pickleball supporter Chuck Reharb, who stated that Trends show tennis people are switching the pickleball, both locally and nationally. The argument that people aren't playing tennis anymore, that it's just a dying sport or something like that, I think is false, says Kasdan. I think that people are still playing tennis because it's such a fun sport. Tennis is being played by a number of people. But in addition to that, they are playing pickleball. In addition, Goleta now has four additional courts that are always available for use for the sport. First, the community center had to give its consent to take measures to address the concerns of the surrounding residents. These measures included the installation of noise-reducing windscreen and wooden fencing, the provision of free monthly pickleball workshops, and the reduction or elimination of most usage fees. So, what are your thoughts about these pickleball lawsuits? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with the next video, and thank you so much for watching.